Hello once again YouTube and welcome to another Halo Megablox review with the SS Motion. So you join me and Jonathan today and we're having a look at the UNSC Offworld Cyclops, which is item number 97214, is 59 pieces and currently retails at 10 to 12 pounds. Okay, so we're going to have a look at this Cyclops. So how many Cyclopses have there been in the past? <laughs> I think we're up to about six. Uh, well, desert and jungle, then Arctic, then um, the cold black uh, one, heavy, heavy assault thing. I think. Yeah, we we've had a lot, and uh, this one is another one down the line. We've got NMPD coming up. Uh, we've also got the new flood one in the future. We've got oh, the heavy was, assault was, one as well yeah. in the future. Uh, we've got a lot coming up. So basically, we're going to take a look at this one because he's just come out in the UK with new articulation. So this figure we'll start with. Yeah, this is like the highlight of the set to me because we've already had the Cyclops released with the old articulation. Yeah. Um, but Mega thought, yeah, let's go back, give us a new figure. And, and it, we said thank you. Yeah, <laughs> it's, I love it. We didn't mind. Um, like, this guy is like really detailed. It's like a repaint of the um, Alpha Marine in a sense. Yeah, pretty much. Um, so he's got this, like, the same helmet and stuff like that. Um, and, but the colour tones are absolutely brilliant. Like, this guy's, like, you know, green and black. You can really believe that this guy's a bit like a, you know, a jungle marine or yeah. whatever you want to call him. Yeah, he's ready for combat. Yeah. I mean, if you, like, pull off the little uh, armour pit plates on his uh, thighs, too. he can do. On, on his thighs? Yeah, yeah, on his thighs. That makes him a really close, uh, I don't know, what would you call it? Well, he's very similar to the uh, Marine Infantry 3 from Halo 4. Mm. Um, which you see a lot of these guys running around. They don't have proper names, like I said. They just call it Marine Infantry Free. But, you know, he's pretty close once you take off that armour. Yeah, I mean, he's got some really nice paint applications. He's got this, like, sort of black base coat, but then he's got sort of... Um... He's got brown underlying a lot of his uh, detailing. Yeah, yeah, he's got, he's got a brown undersuit. This nice lime green jet pack... Uh, b backpack. Backpack, <laughs> My bad. Um, and yeah, if you take off the actual uh, back here, which does take a little bit of fiddling, but it comes off pretty easily. Yeah. Uh, we've got some nice uh, moulded work running across the chest here, which is actually pretty unique to itself. It looks really nice. Yeah, yeah it's a different undersuit than the uh, Spartan one. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It just looks like, like I don't know, kind of under t-shirt for a military uniform. yeah and i've said that mega are really good actually putting molded work on uh these figures uh behind the armor because it actually just adds depth to it and yeah. you can actually wear them without the armor which is really nice so yeah it's got loads of detail and with this nice cream color black lime green and brown running all across the suit and then it's got some funny silver shoulders which you commented about yeah, before that's the only kind of little issue i've got the, the shoulder pads are silver while the rest of his armor, the helmet and the uh, chest piece are in like a light gray. Mm. Um, the original figure's shoulder pads were in light gray. Uh, the character in the game has light gray shoulder yeah. pads. So it's kind of odd that suddenly this guy has silver ones. So what I did is I pulled these off, which is brilliant that, you know, you can pull off you the armor. You can pull them off. And I swapped them around with a Fireteam Sierra Marine. Are these the Sierra ones? I yeah, these, these are the, Marines. No, these are the Sierra yeah, Marines. Okay. Um, so I put them on. So you can and, literally just pull this straight off. Yeah, it's which got is a little great. clip here. So while, like, yeah, it's inaccurate from the packaging, it's cool that the removable armor allows someone like me to make it more And accurate. to actually color coordinate. Yeah, so it all matches up that way. Yeah, but it is a fantastic figure and uh, one of the best new Marines I've seen. Yeah, he uh, really, really stands nice. out with the black and green versus like the beige or whatever of the other Alpha Marines. Yeah, he also comes equipped with a nice new mold shotgun. Uh, this guy, it, it looks awesome. It's yeah. really nicely molded. Yeah, I love the new shotgun. It's really kind of beefy yeah. and intimidating. If we do a direct comparison to the uh, marine that actually came with the original Cyclops, here we can see the massive difference. Yeah. <laughs> um, this this guy looks so much more realistic, so much more ready for combat. Um, it just looks so much better. These uh, ball joints, uh, they, they're a thing of the past. Yeah, um, I mean, really this guy are. can hold his weapon two-handed, you know, yeah. as you see in game. This These, guy this kind of, of really uh, struggles. Really it, struggles to get into positions. Yeah, it's, it, not it's a really awkward pose if you try and do it. Yeah, and these these look like proper shoulder plates. When yeah. they're moulded on like this, they just look like part of the arm. Yeah, they just kind of blend into yeah. the actual like character kind yeah. of thing. So we actually, we, we absolutely love the new one, and we think it's a fantastic upgrade. They removed the tack knife, but that's not a big No, problem. it's not too bad. And 
But I would love Mega to like mass release this guy in like a future blind pack or something yeah. because he's a really good standout marine. I'd love to have an army of him. Yeah, so let's uh, talk about the Cyclops for a minute. Uh, we also do get two accessories, which are these little cones, which are also nice for little yeah, bits just of little nice little scenery bits. Mumbas got... Escape or yeah. whatever, really. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, we've got this awesome looking Cyclops here. A really nice, bold colour choice. Stands out very nicely. And it's got a little bit of a backstory, hasn't it? The Mega uh, made. Yeah, yeah. The Mega backstory is that this thing flies into space and cuts open, like, destroyed ships for the from torch. battles. Yeah. You know, so if like there's wreckage over a planet, this thing will go up, break it all apart, so people can, I don't know, not worry about the debris falling to the planet. I guess, I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it's uh, got some really nice detail and exact same mold as the uh, other Cyclopses, except it has got this welding torch attachment, which is made up of some nice little pipes and connector pieces. Yeah, it's tons of little tubes to yeah, it. Slots uh, really nicely into the arm. You've got a little welding flame effect at the end. Yeah, it? it runs right up into this uh, piece, which actually has a little clip to attach in very nicely. So that, that's really nice. The clip also just disappears into the design and looks like it is part of the pipe. And it just looks really nice. Works really well with this translucent red piece and stands out really nicely for me. Yeah. Uh, it's also got these nice translucent lights on the actual Cyclops. Printed detail is fantastic on this yeah, set. Yeah, no stickers, got so that's UNSC great. <laughs> there. Yeah, we've got these hazard sort of lights here. We've got these warning strips here. All looks really nice. And uh, really good printed detail there. Yeah, well, the whole paint scheme, it's just danger. You know, it's, it follows this whole black and yellow warning stripes all over the body. It's a really good coordinated uh, paint job. Yeah, as all as all, as with all the other Cyclopses, the hatch comes up with a nice little chair with a peg for the Marine to sit in. And he can seal, be sealed inside to uh, go to work. It's got these nice little pegs that insert into here in two slots and just adds to some really nice detail, I guess. And it's got some really nice movable uh, joints on the feet to position it in a really nice pose. Yeah, I love the posable toes on these things. Yeah, like posability <laughs> is great because you can so cool that you they can sort of that. move it down and have yeah. it posed like that. You know. So for just uh, ten to fifteen pounds, uh, we can both agree that it's pretty good value yeah, for it's money. Yeah, really great. Yeah, we get this fantastic new Cyclops. Honestly, one of my favourites. I think the fav my favourite still lies uh, in the Arctic one. Uh, I really do the like original that one. for me. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Um, but yeah, it's it's a fantastic vehicle with a really nice marine um, with some exceptional paint uh, application and printed detail on the actual Cyclops. Screaming value for money, yeah, really. Yeah, uh, perfect set. Couldn't yeah. ask for more. Yeah, we've also got these two nice little cones which can be used for whatever. And it's a real step forward for Mega with this new articulation. Absolutely. Yeah. So, right. yeah, this was another Halo Mega Blocks review with the SS Motion. Please like, favourite, and subscribe if you enjoy what you see. And we'll see you next video.